Hello Com Platform community, Johan Polacek here, and CTO and co-founder of Com Platform. So first, thank you very much for your patience on this Ask Me Anything video. I know it's been a while. We've been through quite uh, quite busy months, but again, thanks for the patience and also for the great questions as always. They are really constructive. The team, as usual, has put them together on a list for me, which I will go through now. Uh, also, there were some repetitive questions which have been answered in the previous Ask Me Anything session. So if your question uh, might not have been answered, then please check the pre previous videos too. You will get an answer there for sure. So also we are starting to work on a video series about uh, which will be directed at more like education about the quantum security, what it means for blockchain and internal, or also about the multi-language features, why that is important, how we are different from anything else on the market. So as I said, this will be a series and as a result, most likely you will see me more often on screen. So, but yes, let's jump straight in and let's go ahead with the questions. So they are grouped together by topics. So the first one will be about the private blockchain. And as many of you know, we successfully launched verse first uh, quantum resistance, multi-language capable and uh, EVM, so Ethereum compatible blockchain uh, last year. And uh, the first question is directed towards this, that can you please clarify the availability of the so-called private blockchain? Is it available for everyone or still for some specific organizations in a private environment? So yes, let's define private environment. So first of all, it's fully available to anyone. So no restrictions, it's straight on GitHub. You can download it, you can test it, you can do whatever you want with it. So it's uh, publicly available. Private means that uh, this type of blockchain is running a private environment. So these companies are running it themselves in an isolated environment where they have full control over their own data. So it's being private doesn't mean that it's not available to the public. It's about the operation model. So um, yes, it contains all features, the quantum, um, quantum resistant cryptography, the multi-language feature, the EVM compatibility, so you can play around with it. You can build smart contracts. We, we provide sample contracts in uh, two major languages, but the one being the most popular language, yeah, JavaScript. The other is being Golang, which uh, one platform itself is built with. And also you can play around with Solidity since it's EVM compatible. So yes, as a result for many projects, it, it will be super easy to migrate to Quant platform from any currently running uh, EVM compatible chain. So the next question, why did you build a private blockchain first instead of the mainnet? So yes, this was a strategic decision and uh, I think a very, very sound and good one because most of the companies who are now looking to build solutions using blockchain are now starting to do so. They need time to experiment, especially larger, larger organizations. They have uh, many bureaucratic and administrative processes to get these, uh, get these steps cleared and approved. And it's one thing that the technology works on their side. They also need to put together the whole pipeline uh, I mean, also the administrative parts. So since we are building a hybrid blockchain at Quant Platform, which means that you have the private components and the public component, which is the main net itself. So they can start building the private parts and then they can connect to the public part, the main net when that's ready. But in the meantime, between these two, they have time to put all the other requirements in place. So they, this is the reason why we focused on shipping the private component first. Yes, next question. Will there be new releases and updates for the, uh, for the private blockchain? Yes, so we are working in parallel on the testnet release and also on the private blockchain. So there are some additional features and uh, endpoints and many other technical stuff I don't want to go deeper into in this video which will be released and all the new versions will be 
tagged on GitHub so you can see whenever whenever there's a new release because a new GitHub tag will be um, will be published and it will be available for download to the public. Yes, will there be more documentation for the private blockchain? Uh, yes, but uh, it is important to know that the Quan uh, private blockchain is currently the fastest and most straightforward blockchain to, to deploy on the market. And, and that's a fact. I mean, anyone who has ever tried to deploy an Ethereum based uh, private network, for example, they will confirm this. So, uh, yes, it's super easy, super straightforward, yet, of course, yes, there will be more documentation, but anyone who is experienced with this, it's uh, more than enough, it's much easier than anything else, but yes, we always strive to, to be better at uh, everything, including the documentations and manuals. So, uh, and yes, the other important part is that once you get that ready, I mean, the blockchain is deployed, we are aiming to attract non-blockchain developers because of the multi-language feature we can do this so we can attract developers with zero blockchain experience because they can now build any smart contract and kind of solution on the blockchain with basically any language they might already know so this is also an important factor here and yes it's not just about the about the private blockchain documentation because this question was directed uh, towards this specifically, but we are working on building a whole knowledge base which will yield answers for any blockchain related question in a human understandable way. Yes, next one. Are there customers using the private blockchain? Yes, there are already organizations who are building on or running a quant private blockchain and uh, some of them were already really uh, revealed and others will be revealed this year so this will be a huge catalyst and it will be a really interesting year to watch okay so we jump to the next session uh, section which is the testnet and mainnet related questions after the private net so yes uh, when will uh, when will the team release the testnet so first let me start that uh, we have faced many many hr challenges so as you know we have a far um, far underload uh, overloaded um technical team and uh, all the developers are working super hard and it's incredibly hard to find talent in this niche market so despite all these challenges we are really proud that we could successfully launch the, um, the private blockchain, as I mentioned earlier. And, you know, as we, I mean, always stated, and this is now the de, de facto driver uh, of the whole organization that we are building for the long term, not just for the short term hype, uh, as opposed to many other projects uh, out there. So, yes, everything will be released whenever they are ready. Uh, but what I can say now, uh, comfortably that the testnet will arrive uh, this spring and the mainnet uh, will also follow sometime this year so of course it will depend how the testnet performs i mean how many um, developers we onboard how many new possibilities we discover and how that goes but uh, these are two two dates or date ish um, milestones or deadlines i can give you as a gives you as a guide that uh, the testnet is aimed for spring and the mainnet uh, shortly for this year. So yes, there were um, questions also related more to the mainnet, like the proof of randomness, uh, consensus, to transaction per second, scaling, validation requirements, all that. So uh, I don't want to get into that yet because we are not there yet, so we will speak about these things when the time comes. But now we are fully focused on the testnet and you will see a lot of materials and guides and uh, yes, also the community, I mean the developer community is working on something really interesting. So we'll, you will see more news about this and we will talk about the mainnet in most likely the next test anything session. I don't want to go into deeper in here because we are not there yet. The next section of questions is about business development related uh, topics. 
So the first question goes like, what does the 50 million uh, VC deal mean for Quam? And yeah, first, this venture capital agreement is not just a simple VC deal. So it's, it's an in-depth collaboration with MBK Holding. And that's important because the amount of portfolio companies they have, I mean, uh, from different industries and the chance we get to talk to these companies and explore what their needs are uh, in terms of blockchain development will give us so much uh, experience, what the requirements are, what they are struggling with. And as again, because of the diversity and kind of these companies, it will be a huge asset for one as well to get the chance to integrate uh, the technology into so many different industries. Also, it's a really strategic uh, strategical collaboration because MBK Holding has great relations um, in many countries, including Saudi Arabia, the United Arab Emirates and uh, Turkey, just to name a few, where the inclusion of blockchain technology is already planned and approved and we will get the chance to, to promote quantum, quantum platforms technology in this region as well. So the next question, according to the latest announcement, you are now director of blockchain at VC funding company MBK Holding. How will this affect your day-to-day -day involvement with quantum? So personally, let me start first that uh, working alongside MBK Holding and the whole team is truly an honor. And uh, Sheikh Mansour is a great role model for me with his visionary technical knowledge and uh, being able to see things so from so many different angles. And uh, I'm, I'm, I'm really happy that I got the chance to work there. But also since, uh, as the question itself states, that I'm director of blockchain there, it means that all blockchain related development will go hand in hand with Quan. So it will definitely not shift my focus from Quan platform. The next one. Roadmap related section. So how will, yeah, this is pretty simple. How will the roadmap look this year? So uh, as I explained previously, we are planning to release the testnet no later than spring. Then uh, also release the mainnet afterwards, uh, as I said, in uh, this year into 2024. And basically, these are the two main goals, obviously, for the year, uh, alongside many onboarding processes, developer campaigns, various other campaigns possibly. But uh, these are the two greatest targets to hit. And um, yes, in terms of that, I always have to tell that I'm really honored to work alongside such an enthusiastic and hardworking team who makes all this possible, despite all the challenges, uh, not just us, but the whole industry has faced in the last year. And so, but to recap, what's an extraordinary, extraordinary year we had uh, with Quant Platform last year, I'll just state a few topics here, but there is a whole blog post about the, uh, as a recap of the whole year, but just to name a few, we launched the uh, private blockchain of Quan, showcasing the promised technologies. Also, we launched LibraScan, the world's first decentralized blockchain explorer. Also, the uh, Alpine Esports has chosen and signed Quan Platform as their official blockchain partner. We also held a partner event with, um, with many of our uh, reputable partners at the Formula One Grand Prix event. We made ecosystem partnerships, uh, respectively, with uh, Haken and Belsin. We made a venture capital agreement, as stated earlier, with, uh, with MBK Holding in Qatar. And also, we were selected to the Ernst & Young Global Startup uh, Accelerator Program. We were also selected to the Web Summit startup program. Uh, yes, this is all, this was also important that uh, for thriving for a more decentralized ecosystem, we made a token burn to put the, all the governance model in a very decentralized, um, very decentralized shape. And, uh, yeah, as I said, anyone can read the full 2023 recap 
the blog post, the link will be down in the description. So as for 2023, I really think that this was proof that the Quant platform can overcome any obstacles and is capable to deliver under any circumstances. And I can assure you that this will continue this year as well. Thank you very much once again for joining the Ask Me Anything session and hope to see you soon.